Morning, dude. Thub here, and we're back at it again. You can probably see there's nothing back there. That's because today has just begun. We gotta go make some money, and um, I'm using a backup camera, so let's see what happens. All right, straight up, guys, what I'm using today is not a body cam. Um, which means I didn't get any uh, POV shots of um, picking through stuff. But if you look in the back, there's not that much. Um, but I did run through and prep this whole area. So I think there should still be plenty of fun to be had. All right, there's stop one. Ugh. Next. We got these. They're very pretty bottles, by the way. And here we have... What a happy surprise. We'll take that one. An Amazon mailing bag. But, oh look! More glass. That's one of my little flags. What do we stash here? Oh yeah! More books. What was this one again? New flag. Oh yeah. Bags full of bottles. Another one. Bobby. Oops, ripping. Alright. Here's a cord. Which is attached to a printer. Well, we're getting kind of loaded up back there. I feel a lot better about it. It was kind of dangerous to uh, leave little stashes all over the place because they're definitely just sitting there waiting for anybody. And if someone started to notice my flagging system, it would have been super easy for them to grab all of it real quick while I was still busy walking. But it seems to have worked out this time. Um, so the risk paid off. Did the whole thing in less time. Now there's one more item out here that uh, I think should make all of the difference as long as it works. This bad boy right here. Ignore the pee. Yes, as long as I have that, I don't really want this. Yeah, I'd much rather have that than a printer. And then this one just seems kind of ridiculous, but I can't really say no. What do they call it? A cashmere cardigan. I'm just having trouble remembering the name. But I checked the tag and it says 100% cashmere. So uh, we're going to take it home and we're going to wash it and we're going to see. Oh, and one last bin. There we are. Not a bad little scrap haul. That's the good stuff. Hey, look at this. I was just cruising the alleys and this popped up. Blessings. Well, what have we here? Looks like a bunch of trash, but at least there's a handful of wire. Good enough for me. Let's move on. Ah, good to be back home. That was uh, a pretty all right morning, I would say. I'm uh, satisfied with that. Had a quick, um, had some soup and had a quick Instagram break, and now I am ready to uh, sort this stuff out. So I actually was filming yesterday, and I have a bunch of footage from that. I got busy in the evening, stopped filming, kept working. So we're just going to cram together. Why don't you guys check out what happened yesterday while I organize this stuff here. See you in a minute. Another exciting day. Got a bunch of stuff planned for today. Mostly housekeeping and getting ready for a good week. But the first one is selling this. Yeah. I think Buddy's waiting inside, so uh, I'm going to take care of that right now. Okay, that was sweet. I didn't realize the green one was a special edition when I found it. Otherwise, um, yeah, anyway, made 90 bucks. And I stopped at the EB while I was there and um, asked to buy. They wouldn't sell to me, but they gave to me the uh, manual and inserts for Pikmin 3. I know a lot of people don't care about that and that's why they stopped making manuals, but I like, I think it's important. It gives the, the case some heft, you know, it really feels like you're holding, I don't know, weight sort of 
feels valuable. That's why they make iPhones heavy. Anyway, for my next trick, we have an eBay sale. Actually, there was a bunch of sales this weekend, but um, I haven't gotten payment for most of them. But this one, bought and paid for. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Factory Sealed Box. Got this one to the auction house real cheap. If this eBay thing really picks up, I'm going to have to uh, go to more auctions. So, are we just going to wrap this bad boy up? There it is. Okay, well, as, as exciting as watching someone else wrap a thing is, I uh, figured I'd just blast through it. We got it done. I am still blown out. Holy cow, guys. There, much better. All right, so this thing all ready to go. I'm going to run to the post office and uh, make some money. I was on my way to the post office when I found. Yeah. And I'm back. Nothing else really happened. I was recording, but uh, nothing in the P.O. box, and I didn't really find anything else while I was out cruising. Um, I found like a bottle, but then I also found another bottle picker, and uh, he didn't have very much, so I just gave it to him. I did get something else in the mail, though. This here. Now, I was worried they might seize this at the border. Um, so I asked them to be really, really ambiguous with what they wrote on it for the item description. And they wrote artificial flu food flavoring. Flute flavoring. Wait, what? It's just vape juice, but uh, I've included a free juice with your order. That's so cool! The sauce. I ordered from them because they have uh, lots of reviews online saying they are some of the best value. And um, I ordered their sample pack, free 30 mils, for 99 cents. That's not 99 cents each, it was on sale for like all three of them. I paid 99 cents for all of this. Plus $10 shipping and it was American, so that came out to probably closer to 15 bucks. But still, these guys are all about value added. and like. They cared enough to write something that would almost guarantee it would make it across the border, which is not always possible. You know what? Nobody watches this channel for vape reviews. I'll just... Let me get back on task. You guys saw when I found the, uh, the big stash of wire. I've got a bunch of other wire, and there's a bunch of other pieces of crappy aluminum. Pizza pans and that sort of stuff. And the rest of the stuff is organized and inside. I'm looking forward to uh, showing you all the little... There's nothing like crazy. Actually, no, there is that... Uh, okay, well, I'm looking forward to showing you guys the stuff that we came home with. But right now, I really want to get this in the mail. I ran into a problem, guys. So the person who bought this thing lives in Spain and paid $20 for shipping, which if that's what eBay estimated for me, seems fine. And then I went to print a shipping label, and it was going to be $99 for the cheapest one. So, obviously I made a mistake in selecting the wrong. So I don't know what's going on, because uh, it only cost like $20 to send an 8-track player to Japan, but I'm guessing it has to do with the size of this thing. It's just really frustrating that this is all supposed to be automatic, and eBay failed me on that one. Yeah, I thought it was my fault, but no, I just remembered that the the e track player was fine. So, no, blaming eBay for this one. So we're not running to the post office today, but that's not a big deal. There's still plenty of other fun we can have today. First and foremost, I kind of want to look at this. This. Don't get your damn Sonya hair on this thing. Sonya. Ow! Sonya's being a turd. 100% cashmere. Okay, so I looked some stuff up. The M and S stands for Marks and Spencer, and it's a uh, an English, a British brand. Um, they sell for about 200 bucks, and uh, Canadian. Right now, the uh, they have the same one. Someone's selling the same one on eBay in pink for 40 dollars American. Thing is totally legit, in pretty good condition. Got these cute pockets. These little like. I thought maybe that was damage from it being washed poorly, but that's just the design. 
yeah, it's, it looks like it's always been taken care of. It doesn't have any of those, like, weird stretch marks or, like, pulls or pleats that happen when you throw a cashmere sweater in the dryer like an idiot. So I'm pretty excited about that. I could probably get 40 bucks for it, but you know what? I might just um, give it to my sister or somebody because I think it would... I think cashmere makes a wonderful gift because it's incredibly soft. Have you ever... I have a couple of cashmere sweaters. So a nice gift. Now, let's move on. Jump straight into this bad boy here. Not the sack of stuff. We'll do that after, but I'm more interested in this. This is a Red Bull lockable bar top refrigerator. It smells like it works. So we're gonna plug that in to see if it works and uh, while it is, we're gonna go through the other stuff. Ah, now I'm really hoping this thing works because that would totally make my day complete. All right, we're just gonna let that do its thing. Sounds like the um, the uh, the fan is a little noisy. Let's see if it calms down or if we have to fix it. Now, that's a wine gift bag. Eh. This one's neat. So I think this game's called Backgammon. Little leather pouch here. Let's see if it's got nice pieces. Huh? Cool. Pieces are little little discs of leather. All right, 16, 16, and four dice, and whatever the heck this die is for. I think that's a full set. Again, I think that might be a gift. Now this, I don't actually know what this is. I think Trans Mountain is a company name, but this thingy is made by Promark. If I had to guess, I would say it's a transport case for um, blueprints. And then the rest of the stuff here is most likely yard sale goodies, but um, yeah, it's good to have more inventory because that that season is coming up. This is this is just a little set of coasters. It's kind of cute because it's made out of wood. Uh, got a little vase. This thing, I guess it holds a candle. Got the uh, Winnipeg Jets Zamboni Pez dispenser. This here, you can see me in the dark now. These are interesting. Blue printed ceramic tiles. They're about three inch tiles. They say KLM business class on the back. Felt on the bottom. They seem like they're probably intended to be coasters, but somebody might be interested in decorative three inch tiles. Because people do weird stuff with tiles. This one is probably my favorite. It's just a little brass bell. With a fairy on it. A water energy, old school style. Cadillac Fairview shop card. Says it's got 50 bucks on it, but we're gonna find out. Hold on. Zero dollars. Not a big surprise, but you gotta check those things. Speaking of things you gotta check. 39, I already looked, there's none. Four, there's one. And we were just one number away from winning 50 bucks or 10 bucks. Oh, you're so close. Now I was gonna go off about all the stuff that I was listing on eBay because my first eBay store finally got um, a promotion? I can list 30 items now, so I've been filling it up with product boxes. Uh, but I don't think that sounds like the most interesting thing to watch. So instead, Here's the one piece of mail I got today. Ooh. More vape juice. Nobody cares. But the last stuff from um, the Sauce LA, all smiles, big smiles, super good. Um, so if anybody in Canada is worried about ordering stuff online, um, Van Val Vape and the Sauce LA totally make it through. I offered her the sweater, but it doesn't fit. Uh -uh. Now, I'm still going to list a bunch of stuff on eBay, but oh, this fun. seems like a much more entertaining and possibly productive project. Okay, so after a little poking around, I discovered 
this is probably the problem. Also, it's kind of jiggly. Actually, it's really jiggly. So after a little more poking around, I found this case fan that I had just kicking around. It actually came out of my computer case when I replaced it with a fancy one. Um, they're, the, they're both 120 mil and they're both 12 volt. The only difference is this one says 0.2 amps and this one says 1.9 watts. So I used an Ohm's Law calculator that I found on a website to discover that this one is actually rated uh, higher wattage than this one is. But that just refers to how much power the resistor or component can handle. So this one can handle more power than that one can. I don't think that'll be a problem. Now the one thing that's kind of weird is that the wiring on this is a three pin wire. Um, and I don't actually know which one is ground and which one is positive. But I'm just going to make a guess and we'll find out pretty quick. Locked on. Ah. Hey team, fingers crossed for not blowing up. Well, I think I fixed this fridge. Check it out. Probably can't see, but the fan is spinning nicely. I think we won. So now I'm just gonna leave it running for a bit, wipe it down, give it a good cleanup, and uh, who knows what I can sell that for. It seems to work great, and that was fun and easy. I checked it out on eBay, and uh, some people have it up for like 250 bucks, and there's one person who has one listed that says it's like a limited edition, and theirs is number 47 of 400 ever made, or something ridiculous. I don't really think it's a limited edition like numbered something of 400 kind of a unit it's a pretty cool little fridge though i will give it that i think that might actually be the biggest win out of the day now i don't think this is an outstanding achievement in the realm of small appliance repair but i like to think it makes a pretty good example of how anybody with just basic basic tools can repair a lot of stuff by themselves without any experience or buying expensive parts so i mean i know i know you guys are on board with the idea but it just goes to show you know a lot of stuff does not need to be thrown out and yeah i'm gonna call today a win it's it was a bit up in the air in the morning just never know what you're gonna find fountain treasure though glad you guys were there whatever you're out there looking for whatever you find Leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing.